Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel or hello if you're new. If so, my name is Amy and I do tons of hair care content on my channel. So if you enjoy reviews of hair masks much like the one today, shampoos, conditioners, serums, treatments, you name it, I've probably tried a variant of a product on my channel, then definitely subscribe down below. It means ever so much to me and really helps my channel grow. And to everyone that has subscribed or is watching and is a subscriber, thank you so much. Because of you guys, my channel has grown so much this year and I am just so grateful. It just means I can continue making videos that I love doing and hopefully you guys love watching them too. But in today's video, I have a bit of a different kind of video even though it's kind of the same thing. Um, I'm doing a another hair mask video so this is a banana hair mask but this I found in the pound shop and all total kind of like reservations in terms of how I prefer to buy my hair care aside I was definitely someone that would have bought hair care from like the pound shop before this was obviously one pound and I wanted to see if you can get good results from an affordable product because you know I can very easily talk here about my love for Olaplex and for specific products that are definitely more the high end spectrum and I'm someone that has learned definitely to invest in my hair my hair is something that I have definitely neglected in the past and have had to resurrect from the dead quite literally it was very very dead and I have learned that a lot of more higher end products have better ingredients but I'm also very aware that that is just not accessible to everyone and I wanted to do a video trying out a banana hair mask from the pound shop going in it with a completely open mind to see how it works on my hair what do I think does it work well you know my overall thoughts and whether or not I would recommend this to anyone that's looking to start in hair care but really does want to spend anything if you know just keep costs as minimal as possible hopefully this can help whether or not i would recommend it and if i don't other alternatives that are also very affordable you know what kind of direction should you go it's a very overwhelming spectrum when you go into hair care and obviously like something like this that is literally one pound should be good right so i'm gonna go into it like i said completely open-minded and give this a try so with that all said and done, let's dive straight into the video. Oh, I've just smelt this and this smells very banana-y. Let's have a look at the consistency. So that's it just opened and it's kind of like this marbled detail. I don't think that's intentional. I think that that's just kind of like where the like color of the product has just twirled whilst it's been in here. But needless to say, that's quite cute, isn't it? Um, in terms of consistency, oh, I thought this, this looked really liquidy then. And as I've done that, it's so buttery. Oh, okay, pound shop. So what does it say here? The instructions is a banana hair mask is specifically formulated to help improve texture and manageability, leaving hair looking healthy and shiny and can be used on all hair types. Directions for use after shampooing, towel dry hair then apply, banana hair mask from root to tip, leave on for seven to 10 minutes and rinse out. So there is silicones in this which obviously is the best in terms of ingredients. So it's dimethicone that is within this product. Perfume or scent is very kind of at the end. It's like the third from last ingredient, which attributes to the fact it's, there's a smell, but it's not super, super strong. So it is fragranced artificially, but it's within there. When I'm looking at this ingredient list, I'll be honest, it's not fantastic, but it's never going to be fantastic for one pound. Um, and that's kind of what you pay for for hair care is the ingredients. It's kind of like, I would say it's similar to food. When you pay for a really expensive meal in a restaurant, you're paying for their artistry, the ingredients and, you know, the people that are behind it. And um, the same kind of goes for hair care. You're never going to get like the most amazing product from a pound shop. But again, I just want to go into this and show you whether or not the results are good. My opinions on silicone, it's just something I prefer to avoid in my hair care in all honesty. But again, I'm happy to try to show you the results if you are interested. But yeah, that's kind of the product. So 
as it said, I will go and shampoo my hair and be back with wet hair, freshly washed, just obviously shampooed. So we can go in and try this. It says to leave on for seven to 10 minutes. If you are new to my channel, I leave them on for half an hour, just because I find that that gives me just the best level of comparison between different hair masks. And I can see what ones work best for me and not. Um, but yeah, I'm very excited to try it. You know, it's something that is super affordable and hopefully, is insightful to anyone watching. I've just shampooed my hair and I'm just gonna take my wet brush, which will ignore how dirty that is for the second, and just brush through my hair, just so it's nice and not free before I apply the hair mask. And then we'll go in with the banana one. I'm actually so curious, honestly. like so thick normally like masks that are literally like a pound are watery as hell but no this one feels quite thick i'm just going to apply this all over my hair as i normally do as it advises root to tip so that's exactly what i'm going to do i'll speed you up as i'm doing it just so you can see how i apply but this is exactly how i apply every other hair mask that i've ever reviewed and yeah, we'll see how this goes. But so far, it does feel really like creamy in my hair. I'll give it that. And just feels actually quite nourishing. And again, I appreciate the fact that people probably say something about the ingredients of this. But if it means that someone could use a hair mask or just wants to have insight in terms of the most affordable options on the market, I think everyone has to be mindful that not everyone can access everything. And so it's really important to make sure that when reviewing products, we review literally everything. So that is now applied to my hair. I would say I probably used a third of that, if not just slightly more. Um, so that's quite a lot, I would say, to have applied. Um, and as I was applying it, it, it actually doesn't feel too great, to be honest. Like it feels like it's starting to almost dry a little bit once it's applied to my hair. So I'm gonna let this sit for half an hour and I'll let you know how I think of it after that period because it might be that it dries up almost completely. Um, you can prevent that by kind of putting your hair up or twisting it and putting it up. But I am quite curious to see how it kind of settles in my hair because other hair masks I use, kind of leaving it like this, don't dry up. So we'll just see. Um, again, staying open-minded, but just applying it wasn't my favorite kind of texture. And the way that my hair feels just doesn't feel like amazing. But we'll obviously see how we go. So we let this sit for half an hour. I will jump on before I wash this out. And then I'll show you the results at the end once my hair is dried. And we'll obviously just see how this does compare to other hair masks that I've tried on this channel that are super affordable. So yeah, I'll see you guys in half an hour for me, but in a second for you. Okay, so my hair is now dried after going in the shower, washing out and drying after using the banana hair mask. And it's actually not too bad. It's definitely not my favorite hair mask ever. It's got silicones in it, which is something I prefer not to have in my products. And for me, if you like the idea of this, you like bananas and all those kind of nice things, the Garnier hair mask that is a similar like kind of idea um, is normally about four pound for a pot that's slightly bigger than this. And that has amazing ingredients in it. And I feel like it's kind of definitely on the more affordable side of things and that's one i would recommend over that like every ingredient in that is like a 10 out of 10 it cleanses your hair so well and it has so many amazing benefits that it can provide your hair whereas this one i feel like it just falls short on the ingredients which again is to be expected when you're paying virtually nothing really for a hair mask so it's definitely not bad and i think if you've used it or you have it it's not the worst thing in the world and obviously looking after your hair is of utmost importance. But I definitely would say educate yourself on ingredients specifically to look out for in affordable hair care. It's something that I've definitely educated myself on over the last couple of years. And there's just certain things that I would normally kind of choose to avoid. But all in all, it has made my hair feel super nourished and I'm not mad at it to be honest. Like I just feel obliged because of the ingredients not to totally promote it. But 
it's not bad so take from that as you will i think that of course it's one pound it's great it's fun it's great to encourage you to do some self-care and like i said you know it's very easy for me to say well an olaplex hair mask that is about 26 pounds is so much better well of course it will be because you're paying like well you're paying so much more for that whereas this one is super affordable and it just means that anyone could try a hair mask if you haven't already so if you're trying to get used to the idea of putting a hair mask into your routine then potentially something like this is a great idea but I've definitely tried better affordable ones. So I'll have my Garnier hair mask link down below. So jump on that, have a little look at that review. And the Garnier one can be used in so many different ways as well. So it can be used as a hair mask, leave-in conditioner, and just a normal conditioner as well. So I think that that one is absolutely fab and one I absolutely love even to this day. I reviewed that over a year ago now I think and it you know I stand by the fact it's amazing so if you like the idea of this definitely check out that video and I just feel a lot more confident promoting that but yeah I hope you enjoyed the video and it's something a little bit different if you'd like me to try another Poundland hair mask then definitely let me know I would be up for trying it there is an Argan one that is always in there that potentially I might pick up next time I'm in town but I hope you enjoyed the video if it has been useful smash that thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe down below and I will see you guys in my next video Bye.